this uh, vehicle is the world's most advanced production vehicle. The one you see right here recently set the production track record at uh, Laguna Seca. Took the record from 127.7, which has been held by a McLaren setup for over two years, to 125.4 on its track debut, obviously with street tires with uh, Michelin uh, Pilot Cup 2Rs. It's a strong hybrid. It has two electric motors up front, motor generation unit on the rear uh, internal combustion engine, which sits mid engine. The uh, uh, mid engine powertrain is our own design. We're an American based company, so this is all designed and manufactured uh, in the US. And the mid engine internal combustion engine is uh, a 2.9 liter, 950 horsepower uh, flat crank V8. So that uh, V8, 950 horsepower and 2.9 liters, makes it the world's most power dense production uh, uh, motor. And in combination for the entire strong hybrid, uh, as an all wheel drive vehicle with torque vectoring, it puts out between 1,250 and 1,350 horsepower depending on the option you take on the car. We're building a super limited edition of only 80 of these. Obviously, we're going to have a number of follow-on cars. All of them are designed and manufactured here in the United States. Uh, but this is the very limited edition, which to us represents the transition to a new way to design and create. Uh, this car represents about 450 inventions you know, in the form of patented materials, uh, patented printing technology, uh, high-performance computing with AI to generate structures that you see uh, the vehicle made of. And this really represents a historical transition from analog, limited, constrained creation of vehicles to basically being able to use supercomputing with human direction to generate the most advanced designs imaginable. And that's what these cars represent, that turning point. talk about real evolution, yeah. all of these designs so far of these vehicles, you're relying on multiple suppliers and you're designing not in three dimensions with the ability to generate that design then in three dimensions with materials that you choose. Before this car you're designing in two dimensions. You're limiting the human design space because you're taking a single gauge of material and stamping it or using a casting mold, this is literally unleashing a totally new design space for human beings. And that to me, not only for the design of vehicles, but for the design of all high performance machines is the future. And these first 80 vehicles, they represent that fundamental inflection point. 
And so, as I had said, there's the supercar, the hypercar, and then the human AI design zinger car category. And by the way, this represents hundreds of millions of dollars of research, development, and you do a little patent search, you'll see over 450 patents across this vehicle. Everything from materials, so if you look at all the performance areas, these are purpose-built materials for the first time, generated by high-performance computing, supercomputing that we use with AI, printed in machines that we've designed, and then assembled at better than aerospace uh, accuracy. And if you look at these structures, more than one person has said to me, this looks like aliens came from a different galaxy, landed here and set up. If you came to our factory, uh, you would see this is like Westworld for cars. They come in, this is discontinuous with whatever anyone has ever done before in human history. You know, Leonardo da Vinci had a notebook, but he couldn't create the things in his notebook. If he had these tools, this is what he'd create. He'd create what's in his notebook. And we have those tools today. Different subsystems and components. This is a brake suspension. This is all of the caliper, all of the brake elements, and the uh, upright for the suspension are all integrated and printed as one. So you're taking out over 50% of the mass. Even for a hypercar, or I would say a Zinger car takes out over 50% of the mass compared to what a hypercar would have in, say, a braking system. Integrates this all together, generates it using patented materials, and then prints it. So this is functional integration of multiple subsystems. So just the way you know, mammals evolved over eons, we're using high performance computing, supercomputing, to evolve things you know, we're using biologic processes in hours using that supercomputing. And as a result, you don't have sort of you know one dimensional or two dimensional insect carapace design. You have something like a mammal. You have integrated functionality in one overall architecture. And that's what this is. That's why this brake, when you look at this combination, this looks like something that's different than anything ever anybody's ever seen before. Yeah.